hello everyone welcome back to another vlog today is saturday i'm just in the bathroom getting ready for the day Sefton has a basketball game this morning so we are getting ready to head out to his game we also have several other things going on today that we're going to be doing so it's going to be a pretty busy saturday but i thought i would vlog this weekend for you guys also Tomorrow is Super Bowl Sunday, and we're also gonna be doing the little Valentine's Day crafts and charcuterie board that I told you guys about in the last vlog, so I figured I would share that with you guys too. But I mainly wanted to come on today and share with you all a little review on the Donna Karen cashmere mitts in the aluminum free. I hate it, y'all. I hate this so much. Really wanted to like this deodorant and it just does nothing for me. It does not last at all throughout the day. I'm like, where did the deodorant go? I don't smell musty. I just don't smell like I have anything on. With this one, you can put it on and you'll smell it all day. At least I do. I put the original on and I mean, all day I'm smelling this. This one, you put it on and within a few hours it's like okay did I put deodorant on like there have been days where I'm like did I put deodorant on today so I would not recommend this especially for the price now if this was like a ten dollar deodorant I'd be like well you know it is aluminum free so you know I would probably repurchase it but for upwards of forty dollars there's no way so this has now become my nighttime deodorant because I don't want to waste it. So I literally just use this at night after I shower. This is like my bedtime deodorant because I don't sweat in my sleep. This is strictly my nighttime bedtime deodorant now and it sucks but I will not be repurchasing this. So I am just sticking to the original Donna Karen Cashmere Mist. However, my friend Cleanne sent me a reel or a TikTok of a woman talking about a dupe for this by Native. I can't remember the name of it, but I'm gonna look it up and see if I can find it because I do wanna try that. Because if Native has an aluminum free deodorant that smells like the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, if I can find a dupe for this, that would be awesome. But I do still like the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist because it's just a more luxurious deodorant in my opinion. And I think that's the allure. I just wanted to come on and let y'all know that this is a no-go for me. I don't like it. It does nothing for me. Do not waste your money on this one. Just stick to the original. This is not it. So just wanted to share that with you guys because I literally gave this two full weeks of use day and night and I was hoping I'm like well maybe it's just you know my body chemistry maybe I just need to you know get my body needs to get used to it by week two I was still like wow like this is really like a bust and I'm I'm so upset about that because like I said this is expensive deodorant so anywho I do not recommend it and I will not be repurchasing that Nope, it's a no. And so, I know I'm looking like bald right now, but I didn't want to do a middle part. I just wanted to keep my hair simple today. So that's what we got. Fragrance of the day is going to be Ambery Saffron by Dossier. This is inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540. I say this, every single time but if there's one fragrance that you should try it's this one i have several bottles of this as backups i even have my family hooked on this fragrance because it is so good and when you compare the prices it's a no-brainer that's why i say anyone who is wanting to try out some fragrances that they would usually spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on go to dossier and see if they have an inspired version first I promise you, I don't know what they're doing, I don't know how they're doing it, but they are spot on with all of their 
inspired fragrances. I have yet to receive a fragrance that does not smell like the higher end version. I do have a discount code link below. My code is always linked below too, guys, um, just in case you're wondering. I always leave it in the description box. If for any reason it does not work, just let me know. I can reach out to my contact at Dossier and they always fix it for me. And they usually respond to me really quickly. So Dossier is where it's at. Also, Valentine's Day is in a couple days. If you want to get yourself something for Valentine's Day or if you want to get your boo something, check out Dossier. I'm telling you, they have men's fragrances. They have women's fragrances. They have unisex. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. Yeah. But, um... I am going to finish getting ready, get dressed. All right, so everybody is ready to go. Thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing because I get asked about this vest a lot. Um, I think I hauled it. A year or so ago maybe two years ago but it's from H&M I couldn't find it on the site but that's where it's from it's just the H&M uh, like puffer vest that I've just been wearing because it's been not as cold it's like 45 today so I'm wearing that with my Nike top that I wear all the time that I get questions about it's got like this snake little print on it but I got this from, I want to say TJ Maxx or Marshalls in their like athletic wear section. I just stumbled upon it. I've not seen it again since then, but I love it. It's so comfortable. It's so nice and stretchy and it's very warm. It's lined with fleece. So that's why you guys see me wear this a lot because it's super warm and it has thumb holes so I love this and if I ever come across it anywhere I will definitely link it for you guys but yeah that's what I'm wearing and then I'm just wearing some you get sport black leggings and I'm just gonna throw on some tennis shoes um, my Apple watch and on my lips I am wearing Chanel Rouge Coco Balm 914 in the shade Natural Charm. I got this a while ago and honestly forgot about it. I picked it up at Ulta and so I had it in my little makeup tray and I've been using that every day. So I've been wearing this and then I've just been topping it off with the NARS Triple X in just the clear. And that's been my like lip combo that you guys have been commenting on. Very simple. And that's that. So let me do one more spray of my Ambery Saffron before we go. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye.
need to go. I love you both very much. And I'll see you soon. Right, back home now, and we stopped at Crumble Cookie. Seth's request. He wanted to get some cookies today, so here we are. Uh, we got a four pack, and we got this is the classic sugar cookie. This is the circus cookie. Yeah. Uh, animal cracker cookie. Chocolate chip, and this is Kentucky cream sugar cookie. I think is what it is, <laughs> but yeah. So. We're going to, I need a knife. So yeah, we're going to cut these up and do a little taste test. Um, I know that I like this one. I know that I like the chocolate chip. I've never had this one before and this is a new one. So I'm really excited to try this one actually. So the Kentucky one. Okay. Cut them four. And fours. Yeah. That's really good. Wow. That's really good. What do you read it out of 10? 10. I get this a 10 too. This is really good. Okay. Yes, yeah, what Willie wants it. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. Just like that. It's okay. Yeah? Okay. What do you rate out of 10? Mm -hmm. I said rate out of a 7 or something. I was going to say like a 6. Seven. It's just okay. Yeah, it's okay. Right. Chocolate chip? Like we already know what it tastes like. Mm -hmm. I no, wish you had some walnuts on there. Yeah. I wish they had caramel. Mm. Caramel, salted caramel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be good. Okay. Yeah. Good. Just a basic chocolate chip. Yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. I think the icing has like a strawberry flavor. Yeah. Well. Yes. This is a basic sugar cookie with mm -hmm. like a strawberry yeah, so frosting. I gave some a little bit. Okay. That's icy. I didn't get it on ice. Mm. Which one is your favorite? Here's our scraps. Ah. Um, oh, the first one. Ah. Yeah. 10 out of 10. Yeah. Bomb.
everyone so it is Sunday the next morning as you guys saw I did a little morning routine had my coffee took my vitamins which I wanted to share with you all because I shared this in my last vlog and I had mentioned that someone was like you know it's disgusting I wouldn't describe it as disgusting. You can tolerate it. It tastes like a thick orange juice, like Sunny Delight, but like really thick. It's not bad at all. Like I thought that I was gonna have to like dilute it or like put it in something, but two tablespoons a day, it's not bad at all. So so yeah, I've been taking this um, every morning since I got it and I feel great. Like honestly, I do feel like I have a lot more energy. Yesterday, I only had one cup of coffee, and I usually do two, but I only did one cup of coffee yesterday, so I don't know if it was this, or if it was because we were out all day, we were kind of busy doing other things that I didn't think about coffee, but that's not true, because we were by several Starbucks, and usually when we're out, I'm like, I need to stop at Starbucks. Please, can we stop at Starbucks? And we were out all day yesterday for the most part and did not feel the need to have a second cup at all. Even when we came back home for PJ to take his nap and just for us to just kind of chill out, have lunch, have a snack, I just had a little snack. I'll usually have coffee during that time and I didn't. I just had that LaCroix sparkling water. So yeah, so far so good. We'll see how today goes. It's still early but it's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. So I will definitely continue to take that and repurchase it because so far I feel great. Um, and obviously I'm still taking my woman's uh, multivitamin gummy by Mary Roofs as well. This morning has been super productive. Um, yesterday we had a nice time out, went to Seth's game. He had a really good game. They didn't win, but he played really hard as if we could take him to Crumble Cookie after the game. So we stopped at Crumble Cookie, got cookies, and I went to Sephora. But I, I was not playing around with Sephora yesterday. One, it was packed. Like, why did I think going to Sephora on a Saturday afternoon was a good idea especially the one that I went to however I really wanted to try out 
one particular product and I needed to re-up on another product. So I picked up the Way Body Cleanser in Melrose Place. I've heard so many great things about this body wash. Um, I was actually watching my girl Keiko's like massive beauty product haul video. Y'all gotta go check it out. I'll leave that video link below if you guys wanna check it out. But she did a massive <laughs> beauty haul on her channel. And I was like, oh, I've been wanting to try that because I already used the scrub. So I was like, well, I'll give the body wash a try because I really like the scrub. So I'm gonna give this a try. And I just bought another Baja Flora Elastic cream got the small one so that i can sit it up here with the rest of my little pink stuff um the big one is massive um i like that this one is small and compact and i can just sit it up here on the counter um i really really love this body cream i like using it at night i like to pair this with the ambery saffron sometimes like at night for a nice little you know nighttime scent yeah i got that that was everything that i picked up from sephora we also stopped at Target and just picked up a few things, but yeah, that was it. So now I'm going to do a little charcuterie snack board for the kiddos. And yeah, I'm just going to do something really simple. It's not going to be anything elaborate. Put some of their favorite little things on there and make it look real cutesy. Um, because I did promise that for Sefton this morning they did their wooden heart paintings um, I shared that with you guys too so yeah it's just been a fun Sunday uh, we did go out for a little bit for a walk which was nice and now we're back home just wearing this little skims set that I love I have this in like three colors um, so I'm just wearing this it's just a really chill day it's actually really nice outside which is why we decided to go out for a walk so I'm going to make them some lunch do a little cute little board for them and then we're going to chill out until you know a little bit later when Super Bowl time starts yeah I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog here don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one So quick, but I hear